Our Chip Patterson is here to talk about this. Chip, I'll get your reaction. Passner out at Georgia Tech. Yeah, this is an interesting decision, especially after Georgia Tech also just fired its football coach in Jeff Collins. Uh, they ended up promoting the interim coach Brent Key to that position. We've also had turnover at the athletic director position. Just a, a really upheaval at the Georgia Institute of Technology doing football, men's basketball, and athletic director. A real sea change of leadership there. In terms of the specifics here, now this is really an in the process. Our own Matt Norlander reported that Josh Passner will be meeting with the athletic director soon, at which point we will proceed with the operation. But for Josh Passner, I mean, he won an ACC conference tournament and talking to ACC coaches, you heard that going up against these Georgia Tech teams was always very difficult because uh, they threw a lot of different defensive looks at you. They always played very hard and the game plan was always well put together. And that really reflects across a lot of respect that Josh Passner gets through the industry. But the problem is this is a results oriented business and they were not able to get enough wins uh, to be able to justify continuing, at least in the eyes of the new athletic director. So for Josh Pastner, I consider him a plus value X's and O's coach, but the recruiting side of things, the talent acquisition side of things, and really being able to uh, work both the high school and the transfer portal to put together a team that is not going to walk out there and be uh, based on like a power rating or a talent metric be one of the three or four bottom teams in the conference. And that's where Georgia Tech was, that they were, even in their successes, they were uh, you know, over the expectation. They were o playing over their head, which is a great thing about Josh Pastner in terms of his ability to teach basketball and prepare teams for games. But if you don't have the wins, then uh, you're going to end up finding yourself in a new spot. 6-14 and 14 in conference play, 15-18 and 18 overall this past season. So what kind of job is this Georgia Tech position now that it's open, Chip? It's a very difficult job. It's a difficult job because you're operating in the ACC at the major conference level uh, in an era where the transfer portal is huge. And the transfer portal includes whether or not you're going to be able to get your credits to transfer to get into another school. Um, you know, there's a there's a real struggle in terms of the graduate programs and being able to get graduate transfers and the level of rigor at Georgia Tech, you know, even once you get in is very difficult. And if I am in my third or fourth year of college basketball, I'm looking for a new place to play. And I need to be honest about this, Jeremy, I'm not looking for academic rigor. And that's one thing I hear from a lot of people at Georgia Tech is that it's sometimes overblown how hard it is to get into school. But what is absolutely true is that the workload is very, very difficult. And again, in the transfer portal era where you're going to be recruiting not just from high school, guys that might be a good fit for your program, but you're also trying to get guys that can come in for just one or two years and help bolster the talent level on your team. Well, those potential recruits, they might be looking at Georgia Tech and they're like, OK, am I going to go there where I'm trying to you know, get myself ready for the NBA? I'm trying to finish out my college career, but now I'm also going to get slammed with even more difficult coursework than I was at my previous stop or these other locations. Being able to put together a roster that will compete at a high level in the transfer portal era is very difficult at Georgia Tech. Fascinated to see where this search goes. Chip Patterson joining us to discuss the breaking news. Georgia Tech firing their head coach, Josh Pastner, as they search for a new men's basketball coach. Thanks very much, Chip. Always glad to have you on with us. And for more on this and what's going on at all the conference tournaments as we head towards Selection Sunday, be sure you're listening to the Eye on College Basketball podcast. Matt Norlander, Gary Parrish discussing all the biggest stories, scores, analysis. It's all you need as we head towards March Madness. It's already begun. The Ion College Basketball Podcast. Download and follow wherever you get your podcasts. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.